I saw that I got him scored up, so uh, I know that I was supposed to post it and uh, to be able to get that wide open, it was like really a uh, good job by the other wide receivers because they pulled the uh, middle backers and everything out, so they put a great ball on me and then this was all wide open. So. Awesome. You probably dreamed about that a long time. Yeah, no, being able to do that and just being able to do it with those guys kind of just made every dream come true real quick there. So. Yeah, no, being able to do that here, like knowing that all my family here, a lot of friends, and like I said, being able to do it with those teammates I've grown really close with is just amazing. What do you think of just the, the offensive efficiency the first three drives? Uh, there was, they had that long drive in between, but you responded right back. Yeah, no, we, we had the ball rolling. Uh, being able to just keep imposing our will, uh, being able to move the ball and everything, we did a really good job of that tonight of that and being able to move forward. I hope that we can just continue to grow on that. How do you feel about this three game um, kind of uh, introduction to college football that you've gotten and, and what do you feel about your readiness now to move into the Big Ten? Yeah, no, it's been really good. Um, I think that we've got a lot of stuff we still need to improve on, of course, but we've got a lot of stuff that we can build off of too. Uh, we got to do better with our two minute. We didn't execute on that today, so being able to do that down the road is going to be important for us. So being able to take things that we've done good and bad, kind of just learn off of. How about you individually? I mean, it's quite an adjustment what you've made, the jump from high school. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel like you know, you're ready for uh, another level of physicality, intensity that comes yeah. next week? I feel like it's been growing, and it's been coming along really well. Uh, Coach G and other wide receivers really have done like a really good job of like just helping me out through that. Um, and I still think that like, I'm ready in some aspects, of course, but that's because like, I just haven't had that experience, and that's why it's great to be able to practice against the guys we practice against, because being able to go up against our defense uh, is awesome, because we get a lot like really good looks. So. Jim Corey got in the end zone for the first time, too. Have you developed a little bit of a kinship with him? It's two true freshmen playing. Oh, yeah, no, he's awesome. I love him. We, uh, we definitely got really hyped for each other, so that was awesome. Not going into Big Ten play, you just talk about dealing with the short week uh, for that first game? Mm -hmm. Being able to uh, get our bodies right and everything quick and being able to prepare is like the main goal right now, coming in tomorrow. Um, and just really make sure we're more prepared than anyone else is. I mean, you got multiple receivers on the game, uh, over 30 yards. Just what's, uh, what have you liked about this receiver group and what's special about them? The great thing for me is being able to learn from those older guys. We've got a couple older guys that have like played a lot of snaps. And so um, being able to learn from them. And the great thing is, is how much they help me. Uh, like it's not a receiver room where people are they're worried about getting their catches. Like after every single play, I got one of them coming up to me and coaching me. And so that's something that's really important to me. Uh, and it's like just really special. It kind of just shows the bond that we have and we help get or make each other better. So it's been awesome. All right. Thank you, Thanks, Thanks, What maybe did your defense do better in the second half that, that was maybe lacking a little bit in the first? Uh, getting to the ball, making some tackles, uh, doing our assignment better. What did you see on uh, your reception? Uh, we was in cover two right there. So what I seen, I just seen the quarterback roll out. And then I seen the receiver come from the other side running the over route. And that's when I made the play, he overthrew the ball, and that's something you shouldn't do. Malcolm, what do you think of the tackle from the defense? What do you think of the tackle from the defense? Yeah, I feel like uh, tonight, it wasn't our best tackling job in, uh, in the first half. We had to go in and talk about some things, get that better. Uh, coming out in the second half, we made our improvements on that. But it was just uh, our mistakes, you know. It wasn't them. What do you think about how this defense is playing through three games? Uh, I feel like we're playing good. Uh, as a team, you know, we all came together. We come into the ball, uh, making plays on the ball. Uh, we can do a good job, you know, getting, the ball, getting more turnovers. Because uh, we, have, we have lots of opportunities where we can uh, make turnovers. So I feel like that's something we can do going forward. Was there anything you had to adjust to or you talked about after that first series where they had it, kind of like 16 plays? For that first, uh, first round? No, it wasn't much of me. It's just it was us, you know. We had to make some tackles. We was uh, making careless mistakes, on the tackles and stuff. So it wasn't too much that needed to be done. It was just us. Hey, Malcolm, do you think? Did you feel like the 
the style of offense that they presented, that they um, that they showed out there, being like such a contrast from the first two opponents that you faced, is something that could help you moving into the next the next set of games. Yeah, I feel like they style of play can help us. You know, they run the ball, and we want to see a lot of that. You know, in the Big Ten, so they help for us for that, uh, giving us a good look at that. I feel like uh, we want to be ready for the coming things. And then, um, you know, dealing with the short week going into Big Ten, like you talk about that in your preparation. Uh, it's gonna be the same thing, same process. We just started a day early uh, tomorrow. We'll go in, uh, get ready for Illinois. Same process. It'll be all we do. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Questions. How do you think you guys played it? Yeah, you know, I'm happy with the win and a solid win at that. Um, you know, the defense we didn't we didn't really play to our standard in that first half. I think everybody felt that. Um, and we came out in the second half. We we picked it up. You know, we picked up um, what we were doing and felt a lot better about that second half. But that first half, it, was, it wasn't up to our standard. Is there anything on the first drive that they were doing that threw you at all, or was it just more on your end? Thought? Yeah, you know, that, it was more our end. You know, not doing our jobs. You know, we weren't tackling well. Um, a lot of things to fix. I'm glad we saw it now. They threw a lot of good plays at us. Uh, they knew what they were doing. Isaac, what does that say about your standard? I mean, still just three points that you gave up. Yeah, got to be happy with that. And a four quarter shutout. You know, those guys, the guys behind us came in and they, they, they finished the job. Um, so, you, it, three points on the board. You know, you can't really just be mad at yourself. You got to look at the good things, right? But um, obviously, there's always things to fix. And uh, that's what we're going to do. How have these first two games sort of prepared you for conference play and then also follow up just dealing with the short week going into Friday's game? Yeah. Um, no, these first three games have been great. You know, uh, we played the pass a lot in those first two, and then you and I came in here and they ran 12 personnel, ran the ball at us. And we needed to see that uh, before we got into Big Ten play. They really came in here with the Big Ten offense of mindset, and uh, we needed uh, to see that. You mentioned that fourth quarter shutout. How much are you into it? on the sideline watching, you know, those younger guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's awesome seeing them get to go out there and play, first of all, and then second, stand on business and get that fourth, fourth quarter shutout. You know, it's pretty awesome to see. Um, you know, you've held other teams to 20 points, I think, it's the first time since 2005. How much of a benefit is that to, like, you guys as a team? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it helps us, you know, gain confidence. You know, we, we know we could be a great defense. Um, and we're just going to keep improving every week. I see, I think we asked you this the first week, too, but I'll ask you again. I mean, what, what impresses you through three games about, about Dylan and the way that he throws the football? Uh, you know, he's just he's focused. Uh, he's, you know, he just looks comfortable. You know, you can tell uh, um, He's not only thinking it, you know, he just goes out there, you know, he just plays the way he's been playing. So, yeah. You've had three games that have been pretty well in hand at halftime. Um, what do you think the challenges will be for this team when you encounter a four-quarter game? You know, just finishing strong, you know, um, starting where we start off, you know, just uh, go out there, finish strong, do what we have to do, whether that's catch the ball, make the last one work good, or, you know, just doing what it takes to, you know, finish out the game, you know, so going into the uh, conference play, you know, we're really going to make it just to, you know, just play harder, you know, play smarter, and, you know, compete to the best of our ability. Your, your touchdown, what did you see on that play? Uh, you know, uh, seeing the safety, uh, he came down pretty hard, and I knew there was going to be a wide window right there, so I ran my, I ran my, uh, my drift route, and you know, caught it, and he just went to the end zone. So, you know, it was, it was exciting. Those are the kind of things that you kind of come to. Um, you know, there's a tr it seems like there's a trust between you guys as receivers and Dylan that if you see that safety, if you see something where. They're committing to the run. There's going to be opportunities for you in the past to make a play. 
Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, as far as practice, you know, uh, we, we practice, you know, hard, and you know, we, we make sure we're on the same play, on the same page. You know, we see something that, you know, we got a little confusion on. We'll come back, we'll, we'll chat, chat, chat about it, talk about it, see what we can do differently, and you know, just go out there and you know, execute something. Isaiah, to see Ja'Cory and Carter both find the end zone tonight and just to see their growth over their first three games, what can you say about that? <clears throat> I'm really excited for those guys. Those guys, they work really hard, they practice hard, and you know, they deserve it. You know, I want to see a lot more from them. You know, it's, it's really exciting watching those guys play. You know, um, seeing the work that they put in practice and uh, coming out in the game and being able to perform in front of everybody is really exciting for those guys. And, you know, they're going to enjoy, those, enjoy that moment. What was the messaging you heard from coaches about perimeter blocking this week, and how do you think you guys executed tonight? You know, just to improve, be more physical. Um, you know, we haven't been we haven't been that great throughout the first two games, but, you know, the emphasis was just to be as physical as we can, go out there, um, play hard, block for our teammates, and, uh, you know, just, just make a statement. So. You know, as a, receiver, as a receiver group, I think we improved uh, today. We had to do still more improvement left to be done, but yeah, you know, we're taking steps in the right direction. Thank you. All right. How do you feel like you played tonight, specifically on that 59-yard pass? What were you feeling and seeing, and how were you able to make that play? Yeah, it was a. Uh, Something I, I didn't really expect. Um, you now turn around and I saw a guy free runner. Um, but just trusting my technique. Um, I know the did a little move and Jalen's open. So um, yeah, it was just just time to make a play and uh, the play was made and uh, you now I'm happy happy for Jalen. He got that big, big reception. What do you, what, what's going through your mind when because he was kind of coming from your blind side and. and like you said, you just turn around and see him. You don't have a lot of time to react in that situation. So how do you how do you um, respond to that? How do you train to, to, to deal with that? Yeah, I, I think Coach Coach Thomas does a good job of emphasizing and get to get your head around it. Um, I got I had enough time to to quickly make a decision of, of what I wanted to do, and uh, I was just just thankful we got out of it and, and had a positive play out of it. What key was that? That second series, or what was it like? I guess it was like 20 minutes of real time where you guys were kind of on the sideline uh, when they had that long drive, and just how important it was for you guys to respond there. Yeah, they did a great job all game of, of keeping the ball away from us on offense. Um, we just knew um, on the sideline, we just we just kept saying we got to make it count, we got to we got to make sure we put points up when we get that ball back. So uh, I felt like we did a good job of that. Um, and, you know, we. We cleaned some things up from last week, and we saw it show up in the game, so that, that's that's exciting to see. Both Carter and Jacob got into the first time. Just how happy are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for them. They um, they work their tails off every week. Um, Carter, from where he's came to now, I just you know I can't can't give him enough praise. You know, he's he's been playing eight man his whole life, and gets into a college game and gets a touchdown, third game in the season. So just just happy for him, happy for his family, and obviously Jacory. Uh, it's my guy, you know, he's a knucklehead. And he, he makes plays, so I'm proud of him, and I know he's going to make more. Between those two guys and, and you and, and Isaiah, that's, that's, that's everyone who accounted for the first three touchdowns, and, and all of them are new um, this year to this offense. So what, you know, what do you think that says? What does that mean about this team's ability now to go into the, into the Big Ten? Yeah, I think Coach Sal was just dialing up. I mean, uh, he, he knows his strengths of his players and he knows what we're good at and he, he allows us to um, you know capitalize on what we're, what we're good at and um, yeah I think I think everyone knows that their, their turn can be in any play so um, they run their routes they bust their butts to, to block and, and run their routes full speed to, you know if their numbers called in the play and they don't expect it um, they're gonna expect it because they're, they're always running full speed so um, yeah, they're, they're just trained that way, no different. 25% through the season, how do you grade yourself so far? Sorry, say it again. I said, how do you grade yourself so far, 25% through the season? Yeah, I think it's early to tell. I mean, we're we're winning games, so that's all that matters to me, honestly. Um, just just excited for this this university and um, 
to to see what Coach has done for this program. Uh, I'm just so happy for the older guys, and uh, we know we're not even close to done yet. So um, that's the exciting part. We get, uh, I think, what, nine more opportunities or eight, whatever it is, to, to be together. So we'll make sure we cherish that. Speaking of those nine, they're all going to be Big Ten games. How excited are you to get going in that level of play? It's going to it's going to be tougher than probably what you've faced so far. Yeah, it's, it's time the, the season starts and uh, time the games begin. And, you know, it's huge. You, you treat those three games like real games, but you know you really find out your identity before you get into these conference games that mean everything. So uh, I know our team's been been excited and, and it's finally here. So we're we're ready to get back at it tomorrow and get ready for it. Can you just talk about getting back to work just with the short week and just going into that? Yeah, I mean honestly, it's just just starts tonight. Like <laughs> our team understands that we're on a short week and uh, you know there's. Probably gonna be two ranked teams on Friday night, which has nothing to do with us. But um, yeah, I think we're we're mature and we know that we're gonna do whatever it takes to win. And, um, I mean, honestly, probably just for myself, I'll probably watch the game tonight and be over with it and, and get ready to move on because um, you know you and I played really hard and, and we knew they were gonna play really hard. And uh, with the short week, we just we don't have enough time to kind of you know break that game down. Learn from it like we have in the past. I heard it was out there in some different packages. You enjoy that, and the, also the reaction you got from the crowd there in that sequence. Yeah, I love it. I love when my I love when my guy, my partner's next to me and making plays. Um, you know, it's whenever I hear it in the in the head the headset, I get get really excited for him and just just know that the crowd loves him. Um, I know when he came out, I was telling everyone to be quiet. I wasn't saying it in a disrespectful way. I was. Trying to get our guys, uh, you know, as quiet as we could to be at home, but no, I just just love seeing him and make plays, and and we we all know he was capable of it, and yeah, just just happy for him, proud of him, and uh, you know he, he's going to keep building off of that. Yeah, it was just a bad play, bad throw. I mean, the protection was perfect. I had all day. Jalen ran really fast, and and Thomas did his job in his part of the concept, and. Uh, I just got. I just gotta let him run and then throw it out there and let him go run under it. Um, but uh, I mean, it's you just learn from it and you move on. And uh, just glad we came out with the win. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.